Hi, today I'm reviewing the SJ Cam SJ5000 versus the 5000X. So um, I am a huge fan of the SJ5000. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I think that one is so by far the best one as of yet. Uh, but let's talk about this new camera and some of the differences between the two. Okay. So first, let us turn these on. All right, so I do have both of these set up to similar settings. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the, the settings. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the different types of resolutions that you can record in. The SJ5000 can record up to 1080, um, and the 5000X has 1080, 2K, and 4K. So I was really excited when I saw that. Um, and later on, I'll show you some video and you can judge for yourself which one you prefer. Okay, so the next feature I wanna discuss is the image size. The SJ5000 um, has up to 14 megapixels as its top, and the 5000X, which is the newer model, can go up to 12 megapixels. Another really cool thing about the 5000X is that it has a gyro sensor, which is kind of like an image stabilizer, which the 5000 does not have. Another cool feature with the 5000X is that it has burst mode which a lot of people have been commenting about wanting, so the new 5000X does have that. Another cool thing about the 5000X is that it has now this logo watermark, which I really like. It's just like an emblem at the bottom right of the screen that says that it, uh, you know, 5000X, but not really necessary, but I thought it was a cool add-on, which the 5000 does not have. Another added feature is it's got this underwater mode with the 5000X, um, which I haven't tried because it's the middle of winter, <laughs> but I'm not sure if it makes any difference while recording, but it might be a cool new feature that they've also added to the 5000X. And also the 5000X now has this thing called FOV. Um, I'm not sure if it's really necessary. If you click it, it just kind of, zooms in and out more. You can see how this bowl looks right now when we're at 70 degrees. And if I go out of this and I change the FOV to 170, you can see the bowl is now further away. So it's just kind of like a zoom, um, but they put it in a setting. So on the SJCAM 5000, you can zoom around using the up and down keys on the 5000X, you can't do that anymore. You can only zoom in and out by clicking that FOV, which I'm not really sure I like. So we are fully zoomed out on both cameras and you can see that the SJ5000 is getting a lot more shots in the, like a lot more image in the frame than the 5000X. So I feel like they've really, you know, lost a lot of space that they're capturing with the new 5000X. Okay, so that's my comparison of the features. And right now I'm gonna show you guys some clips I took with each of the cameras, and I'll let you guys decide which you prefer. Okay, so we've got the shot of the lake here, and um, this lake was actually frozen over. So with the 5000, you can actually see kind of like the shards of ice that were on the lake. Um, the color is a lot better on the 5000. The, the like dead grass kind of has like a vibrancy to it. And the rocks, uh, you can see like the different color. It's like white and gray. Uh, on the 5000X, it just kind of lumped it all into one gray color. So for me, um, in this shot, I feel like the 5000 is just incredible compared to the 5000X. So here we are back at the rocks, and you can see that the rocks with the 5000 are a lot brighter. You can see the different colors within each rock. 
And if we slow down the frame right about now, we can also see each of the pebbles within the rocks versus with the 5000X, where it really only just looks like a big pile of dirt. And there's a lot more color differences with the 5000. Okay, so I also wanted to include a driving shot. Um, you can see the 5000, again, the color is a lot nicer, but on the 5000X, you can, if you look up at the clouds, you can see like that it's a lot clearer. On the 5000, the clouds are more whited out, um, which may also be the reason why the color is a lot brighter with the 5000. Personally, I prefer the color being the way it is versus being able to see the clouds. The 5000X kind of looks a little bit duller in my opinion, but also your own personal preference, you know, whether you're looking for color or you're looking for overall picture. Okay, in this shot, I really wanted to do a color kind of detail shot um, with the 5000 the twigs are a lot darker the red is a lot richer um, which I think in my opinion um, holds a better shot than the 5000 X so here I just kind of wanted to show what that watermark looks like it got cut out of the other videos that I had but you can see it in the bottom right corner it just says SJKM 5000X which I think is really cool um, but the 5000 does not do that okay so final thoughts the 5000 has always been my favorite and I'm still partial to it I think that with the 5000X they've added a lot of features but the quality on the 5000 is still far superior to the 5000X um, in almost every single shot that I showed you guys, I think that the 5000 did a better job. So feel free to tell me which camera you prefer. And as always, thanks for watching.